This is a follow-up to my video for a rocket stove from wood shavings, a wood chips or some dust as well. Um, I apologize first of all for the urban sounds. You'll hear cars in the distance and probably some seagulls squawking away in a minute. I live by the seaside. So let's start with the basics, which is the the tin, which used to be a big beer keg. Um, you can see the hole was very roughly made in the front here, it's still very the sharp edges and things and the top was cut off quite abruptly so it's a little bit sharp as well so just watch your fingers if you're doing something like this but that's as simple as it is, it could be a paint tin or any sort of tin that is cylindrical, vertical put a hole in there for the air to come in and the air flows in and then flows up so it flows and that's one of the problems with shavings is if you try to light them there's no air flow through them and that's why they don't burn so we're going to do this and I've just realized that there's something I forgot to get but we'll improvise I'm going to use this just to tap the shavings in because they need to be packed in quite um, tightly or well, the tighter the better What I have here is a bag of shavings from my lathe. Oops, it's got all sorts in. But it's it's shavings and dust all sort of mixed together like that. So what I'm going to do is I'll start off with a little bit in the bottom because this is, comes up from the bottom. You can see what I'm doing, putting stuff in there. And the next thing I'm going to need are two pipes. One's going to go in the front, like that, and that'll ensure I'm going to pack underneath it, press it down, like that. I'm going to turn this because this pipe's a bit on the long side, I don't want to cut it short. back to there and this pipe is going to sit on top of it to ensure that we have a chimney going all the way down um, so let's start filling it up At this point now the pipe is almost supporting itself or the, the shavings are supporting the pipe so I can let go of the pipe and I can use both hands to really press those shavings down. Um, there we go. Fill that in as far as I can. Bit of cloth polishing. Right, I'm going to make sure it's properly packed it down. It should do. Now if it's not compacted, it'll just collapse when you take the pipes out. So that's why you want it properly compacted in there. We should be able to take this out now and have a bit of a chimney in there. 
This one's a bit thin. I don't know how well you can see in there, but there is there is signs of light coming through into the opening into the mouth. It's probably not as compact as I'd like it to be, but that'll do for now. I'll just try to give you a better view down the chimney, and then inside. I'm not sure if this can focus at this distance but you can see there's light coming down from the top and that's the important thing at this point I'm going to cheat candle It's just starting to take some flames up the sides of the chimney, but only just starting now. <coughs> I don't know if it's coming up in the camera, but there are some flames coming up now, so we've got good now we've got ignition. In the past I've wondered how I would manage to get a pan or something on top there without putting the flame out, so um, good little idea for this time, I'm going to give it a go. An old brake drum. Looks like it's got a top hat on now. So it'll add some weight to it because it's not very heavy and it's quite easy to knock over or I suppose for a heavy breeze or gust to blow it over maybe. So it seems to be going fairly well now. Um, one of the nicest things about backyard bushcraft is there's always a tap handy for water.
There are two holes in the back of the brake drum. It's letting enough air out, I hope. That might be the better approach. We'll try something different. I have to say that it's somewhat precarious. There's relying on the friction on the edge of that rock there, or stone, rather than actually sitting on it. I'm not particularly happy with that. I'm just looking at the Crusader and I've got just over half a litre of water in there which is way too much for a mug of coffee.
still giving off quite a lot of heat but you can see how the level has gone down from being right up top it's sunk down um, and the sides are slowly folding in as I've chipped away at the at the chimney and the front the arch that's over the over the the, the inlet is slowly sinking in I think it's going to drop down if it clogs the inlet you can see the sparks as the, the air is flowing in, see them coming through this way.